Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. SoFi is down 60.52% year to date. Let's say for easy math, it's 60% down since the start of the year. So if you invested $1,000 at the start of the year in SoFi, your balance would be around $400 or change. Now, in order for you to recover these losses, SoFi has to run almost 150% from the current price level in order for you to just recover these losses. In the current scenario, chance of SoFi or in fact any other stock running 150% is next to impossible. We are not in a place where investors, whether it is retail investors or institutional investors, where they want to put money on risky assets. People are looking for safe haven to invest the money. This video is not about bashing SoFi because SoFi is part of our public portfolio and I have high conviction in SoFi. If you enjoy SoFi videos and you find any value out of today's video, leave that like and without further ado, let's dive a little bit more into SoFi today. If you are watching this video, most likely you are either interested in buying SoFi or you are already a SoFi investor. And I am also a big enthusiast when it comes to SoFi because SoFi is a disruptor in the financial space. Until SoFi becomes a profitable company, the chances of us seeing those high price numbers for SoFi in the stock price standpoint is very unlikely. The biggest bane for SoFi is the student loan monitorium, which expires at the end of August. However, I am still not convinced that that might even be lifted because this is a midterm election and when it comes to any election and politics the chances are the company might suffer because the government might want to extend the monitorium just to get some votes now this is not a political video whether about i'm left or right this is just a reality that this could happen secondly we see how the general market is you know the sentiments are very weak if we look at the fear and greed index it's about 30 so the market is generally fearful and a month ago it was also fearful and a week ago it was also fearful. The chances of us moving away from fear all the way to greed and extreme greed is highly unlikely because the underlying situation as I have been talking in all my previous videos hasn't changed, not going to change anytime soon either and we are at the brink of a recession or we are already in a recession and we are just waiting for the official announcement is if you have two quarters of negative GDP that is by definition a recession. Among all this turmoil, there are some good and positive points along with SoFi. And let's start off with some hard facts. 2021 in June, SoFi brought in 231 million dollars as revenue. March 2022, SoFi brought in 321 million dollars. Clearly shows that the company's revenue stream is solid, intact and growing. Next is earning per share. So last year in June 2021, SoFi lost 48 cents per share. This time, SoFi only lost 11 cents per share, which also goes to show that the company is on the right trajectory to start reducing the losses, which means this is the path to profitability. And this is a good number. With all these great numbers, there are some concerning factors that we also want to touch upon. The growth of members have slowed down from 87% in quarter 4 2021 to 70% year over year for quarter 1 2022. The growth numbers are still amazing. What generally happens in the mindset of investors is if you are so used to seeing higher double digits, even a small decline in that kind of resets the expectation and brings fear in the mindset of the investors. The second concerning factor for SoFi is the student loan volume that has contracted. It was $1.5 billion in the fourth quarter of 2021 and it contracted to 984 million in the recent quarter. So we want to keep a very close eye on this particular number in the coming earnings report. Here's a couple of data points that we want to take a look at it. Recently, we have seen as the price has gone down, we have also seen some major buys from insiders. We had about 24 buy transactions in the month of May. In June, we only had two buy transactions because if the management continues to buy, which gives a lot of confidence for the retail investors. So this is a cool feature 
here on tip ranks and you can definitely check it out so they also tried the website traffic as you can clearly see that there was a lot of enthusiasm about sofi as a stock back in march 2022 then it dipped during the april 2020 it rose again back in may and that's when the sofi stock was actually trading much higher and then in june it again fell because the stock price dipped all the way to five dollars and for now we haven't seen the data coming out for july which will be coming out in a couple weeks the sentiments around the stock is still very bearish and that is because the overall market is also very bearish what you should be looking at is the earnings report which comes out on august 10th it's not confirmed so as soon as it gets confirmed i will be doing a live stream on sofi earnings as well even though there is still negative sentiments around it wall street analysts are still bullish on sofi but have a moderate buy we still don't see any sell ratings which is a good sign for the company on the monthly chart the current stock price of sofi is six dollars and 19 cents or 20 cents at the time of this recording the rsi is around 57 which is still not in the over overbought territory but it is getting closer to the overbought territory so we might start seeing some selling pressure coming on in the coming weeks or so also on the MACD we are seeing a divergence in the signal so there is a change where we may see some red days coming in now realistically based on the Fibonacci retracement what are some levels that we should target currently with the stock price being about 620 the next level leg up would be six dollar and 81 cents this is a big gap that the stock has to fill because 681 was all the way back on the 8th june when the stock market was ripping higher so in order for us to see this next big up we will need the stock market to also rally along with the stock with the next leg down we may see around 596 and then the falling 579 these are a couple levels that you might want to track if you are are a long-term investor i highly recommend that you should not be bothered about these price movements especially because the stock price will become very volatile in the coming weeks leading up to the earnings report we may see a lot of upside and downside on the stock depending upon the news so i will be looking to open more covered calls for the weeks leading up to the earnings report i'm also going to open some put options so that i can cover myself on both ends that was a very quick summary on sofi hope you enjoyed today's video if you liked it don't forget to hit the like click on subscribe and ring the bell notification i will see you next time investor family but don't forget to invest for tomorrow